Well, this is uh, Nick Castle, who played the shape in the movie. And this is uh, Dean Cundy. I was the director of photography. I'm Tommy Lee Wallace. I did a couple of different jobs on the movie, which to credit to make obvious. And I remember shooting this title shot, the flickering of the uh, pumpkin. It was in a in garage, a, yeah, wasn't it? Was it just, off of Sunset? Yeah, it was just a garage and uh, against black and uh, you know it was a very uh, interesting image uh, to start the uh, thing with and as a title yeah deborah was in charge of that shoot as i recall deborah hill yeah and this is a good place and time as any to sort of pay tribute to her as i recall there there was in the beginning there was a lot of mumbling about Deborah, the director's girlfriend, and sort of nepotism and all this. And it didn't take more than about four days for everyone to realize, man, she was born to this job of uh, producing. She really deserved to, yeah. to have that job, and I, she did such a great job. I had worked with her as a, uh, she was a script supervisor on about four <laughs> or five low-budget movies, and and I was immediately impressed by the fact that she was interested in the story. She would come to me and say, you know, wouldn't it be interesting if uh, the character did this or that? And, uh, you know, it was aware of the fact, here she is, Deborah, that uh, she was very perceptive about uh, story and, and visual storytelling. And kind of had a... Uh, uh an angle, not only a writer's angle, but a sort of commercial angle, too. She was always thinking about what will the audience go nuts for. Exactly. Oh, there's a lot to say about this next sequence, and probably not enough time to say it all, but Dean. Well, the Steadicam uh, had been invented um, just a little bit before. This had been used for one or two shots on various movies, but... John wanted to really exploit it as a way of moving the camera in a way that we hadn't seen before. So uh, yeah, handheld wasn't wasn't what he was after. No, because it's it's too jerky, too obvious that it's being carried by a person. This gives you more of a floating uh, sensation. So we devised this very elaborate shot um, that is long, continuous, the longest steady camera shot that had been done at the time. You have to imagine that the soundtrack had to be completely reworked because uh, relighting and oh, yeah. reset decorating is going on <clears throat> during the shot. Okay, right now, as soon as we look away from that room, there are gaffers and electrics jumping through the windows. Uh, and moving lights, yeah. Quick, moving quick get light. that out of there. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, wait, here they come. They're coming down the side of the ho Get ready. And, and the camera... Around the camera, there was a lot going on. Deborah was in a little clown suit, because coming up here, she's going to be the hand of the young Michael Myers reaching into the drawer. So she was on hand. I was along with a bucket of blood and a paintbrush. Uh, and uh, let's see, I guess Ray Stella of Hollywood was operating, and you were next to him. As yeah, and I, I operated... Uh couple of these shots. Now, that's out of focus because um, the the lenses, the anamorphic lenses that give us this widescreen um, image couldn't focus very close. Oop, there goes a camera shadow. One of the few flaws in the <laughs> whole thing. Oh, but, um, CGI that right out. Yeah, they, uh, mm -hmm. which they, they could. But, uh, and um, you know, so now we're in a room that has been completely relit while we were going around the back of the house. And we'll get relit again while we're upstairs right because uh, i think we have a glance into it so that had to be taken care of so yeah. you didn't see a light and stuff oh I, I, let me mention too that this is an old house you see it in the movie as an old haunted house and that was its natural state what you have here is a renovated house this shot was carefully worked out and if you were to move the camera and tilt it over uh pan it over to the right or the left it's like raw wood and <laughs> it was set decorated just this, for the shot this staircase was extremely narrow because it was as you say john and tommy a a very old house and it was 
very, very difficult to get up with the camera, which you have to wear on your chest and with an arm and everything. So it was a very, very difficult shot. This was we did about four or five takes, as I recall, and it's a long, elaborate process. And in the end, we cheated a little. Uh, we changed takes during the putting on of the mask, and I think there's one other place where we did a cut. Uh, so it's really three different takes. I just have an observation here, which is this is a very long steady cam shot, but a very short sex scene it was. It was. I was surprised that the guy's staying power was very, very limited. <laughs> yeah. Was that Deborah stabbing, too? Yes. Um, she was. And the uh, young girl dying was quite voluptuous. I, I can... Uh, can't imagine why the guy would leave so hurriedly. But. Right. There were so many people chasing after the camera, doing the various jobs. And now we come out the front door, facing the opposite way we uh, yeah, first saw From the where house. we started, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. cut to the young Michael Myers. Those two shots were one entire day's work. Yeah, you know, I, I was very impressed by the fact that uh, John and Deborah were willing to commit um, a, a day to doing that.